In this lecture, we are going to know about how to create and edit nodes in Hypermesh. Now, nodes and element are one of the fundamental block of finite element. So it is very important to understand how nodes are created and how these are edited because all the calculations in the software are done on the nodes. So if you go to the Hypermesh and go to geometry panel, you will see option like node node edit temp nodes these are the popular command that are used to create the nodes or edit the nodes in hypermesh so to understand this we are going to open up a file so go to open in your project file go to the folder of create nodes and you will see nodes open this file so inside this file you will see we have a surface i try to rotate this you can see we have a surface and you will see multiple nodes are already created. Nodes are specified by this yellow color balls or yellow color dots in Hypermesh. So first of all what I do I will delete all these nodes. To delete the nodes in Hypermesh we need to go to this option of temp nodes here. Also if you want the shortcut key for the keyboard you can press shift plus F2. And here you will see clear the nodes. So what we can do is we can clear the nodes one by one. Let's say I pick up this node and clear it. Also we have option of clear all. Click on this option and it will clear all. So I press escape from here. Now I want to create some nodes here. Before this you can see in the component collector we have one component and you can see the surface. So here in the type of display we have multiple option. So I'm going to select this as a topo. Here I'm going to select this as a wireframe. Now I will go to geometry, go to nodes. And if you want the shortcut key from the keyboard, let's say I press escape. So you need to press F8 key from the keyboard. So here first option you will see adding the nodes using the coordinate system. After that we have option of creating the points on geometry then creating the arc center, then creating nodes on the line, then creating the nodes between the reference of a node. So first option let's say I will select create nodes using the XYZ. So here you will see XYZ coordinate and the coordinate system. So by default the coordinate system is zero. It means it is going to take this coordinate system. We can also create our custom coordinate system which we are going to cover later. And then we can select the number of that coordinate system here. For example, 1, 2, 3, etc. So let's say I want to create a node at the origin. So here insert value 0, 0, 0 and click on create. So you can see here a node has been created. Similarly, let's say I want to create one more node. So insert some value, let's say this is 50, 0, 0 and create. In this way you can insert any value of the coordinate and create the node. Okay so second important option in the node creation is we have create by creating the arc center. So if I go to this option of lines here whenever we want to find out the center of a circle or any arc we are going to use this option of creating the arc center. So right now we don't have any node for reference we have only line. So I zoom in here and I click on this line. Here make sure the line is selected, click on create. So it will create a node at the center. Similarly, one more thing I want to show you. Let's say I will go to this option of extract parametric. Click on this. If I click on this arrow, we have option like extract parametric or extract on line. Okay, click on this arrow, you will see extract on line or surface. So with this option, what will happen is, let's say I will go to this line. Okay, so here we have lower bound and upper bound. It means the percentage of the distance. I will select 0 to 1. Let's say I want to insert three number of nodes. Let's say I will select this line. Click on create. You can see three nodes has been created onto this line. Similarly, let's say I want to create four nodes etc. So this is a very powerful and useful command. We are going to use it frequently. So let's say I will go to this line click on create. So onto this line 
four nodes are created at equal distance. So I can go to this arc center here. Now I can also use the node as reference. So to create the arc center, we need at least three nodes. So I will select all the four nodes and create. You can see because of the reference of the node, it will give you much more accurate arc center. Similarly here, if I go to extract parametric and you will see we also have option of selecting the surface. So in the surface, we can specify the two direction U and V. So let's say I want three in U and four in Y. I select the surface, click on create. So here you can see three nodes has been created on the horizontal direction and four nodes has been created on the vertical direction. Similarly, we have one more option that is called extract parametric here interpolate nodes. So for this option, we can go to this interpolate nodes. With this option, we can create a node between multiple nodes. So let's say I want to create a node between these two. So like the first node, select second. Here be a node list. I want one node between them. Click on create. You can see it will create a in between node. Similarly, we can increase the number of nodes like this. So I will select first node, second node, create. Now it is creating multiple nodes. So we have inserted three value. We can also insert some biasing factor. So with biasing factor, we can change the distance value. Also, we can create the node at the intersection. Go to intersect. Here in the reference, we have line. For example, let's say here, okay. First of all, delete all these uh, nodes. I will press shift plus F2, click on clear all. Now I will here we need to select the two lines. So I will select the first line, click on for the second line, select the second line, click on create. At the intersection point, nodes will be created. I will click return. If you go to this node edit, you will see some option like associate move node, place node, remap align. So we are going to cover these options later in the course. So in this way you can create and edit nodes in Hypermesh.